Hello everybody. Um, I'm going to be giving you guys a update, a long overdue update on my outside garden because lots and lots of things have been going on. So bear with me if this video is not as uh, short as I would like it to be. <laughs> Alright, so let's start out right here. It's another nice day and I decided to bring everything out. We are past our frost date, last frost date, and we've been having 80 degree weather um, and we're supposed to be having it all week. So I brought everything out. These two beauties here are my Ichiban eggplant. And then that eggplant little thing right there is that eggplant that I got from overseas and we'll see what it does it's not looking that great but all right and then all along here are all my sweet peas and we've actually put up our trellis for it yeah. okay and that's a flat of my um, mariachi peppers that I still haven't found a home out in the garden for okay and let me just go right over here and I'll give you a shot of our broccoli um, they are just starting to kind of branch out now so I'm hoping to start seeing some good stuff before the real hot weather gets in here um, as you can tell our cabbage is also growing on the tiny little things they used to be Okay, and then there's our Chinese cabbage, which is also growing. Okay, and then all along the uh, perimeter of all these plants, you can see onions growing. And there's a little volunteer cilantro there. I have volunteer cilantro everywhere. So, um, not that that upsets me. I'm okay with that. So yeah, so that's all um, my cabbages. Uh, the diatomaceous earth seemed to have worked um, because as you can tell, these are like what they had eaten before, but um, a lot of the new growth, it's coming in and it's, it looks all right. Um, it did wash off with a lot of rain that we've been getting, so um, I probably have to sprinkle some more out. But I did find that it helped a little bit. Um, those are my zucchini plants right there in the back. And these are my mariachi peppers right in front of them. I don't know how big these zucchini plants are going to get. Um, in order for it not to interfere with the mariachi pepper so um, we'll see how that goes all right and then right here in these mounds that I have here um, there's nothing planted there I still haven't decided what I'm gonna put there but um, in these mounds here I have my bush buttercup uh, squash so let's see how much of a bush they turn out to be um, and then We'll figure out if we can grow it there or not. Um, these are sweet peppers. Okay, and then I have some more snow peas going on in the back there. Or sugar peas, I'm not sure which of the two. But it's one or the other. <laughs> um, then I have some bush beans in this area right here but um i i am not seeing anything and they've been planted there for quite a while so i don't know what's going to happen with those in any case i did get some beans bush beans from the nursery so we'll see what happens and then these two little lonelies here are my watermelon plants Okay, which I'm going to be feeding with my compost tea today to see if I can perk them up. 
All right, guys, let's get out of the little thing here and let us go over to my potatoes. Just closer. These potatoes are finally coming out. Okay. That's how these look right here. Again, these are the ones that I got from my pantry, so I don't know how they are going to do. But they de definitely look much different than the, uh, this one seems to be slower than all of them. But yeah, these look much different than the sea potatoes that we got. Um, these are my sea potatoes. And these are just gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, wow. And look at these right here. And then these are the tallest ones that we have. Okay. And then, right over here, we have a Tumbling Tom tomato. This is my pineapple tomato. It's my thyme going good. These are my spinach. I've already taken a few of these leaves and just snacked on them. Um, this is my carrots growing right alongside of the spinach there. These are my collard greens. And they do need to get thinned out, but I'm just waiting for them to get much bigger. And then I'll definitely do that. These are my radishes. And I did thin them out. So they look kind of full, but they are spaced out um, a good width. And if you can tell, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. There's something, a little pink stuff poking out of there. And these are my carrots. And beets are coming up. All over. And these are beets coming up. All over there too. And then in this one I have some carrots planted. And then here are my sweet potato. Okay, and I don't know if this is how I'm supposed to have done it, but what I did was I slipped off the um, the vines from there, and then I put it in a cup of water. It got some roots going, and then I planted it in there. So. If that's not the way to do it, then just let me know. <laughs> Alrighty. And then I have some potatoes going in there, but nothing's happening yet. Alright. And then I'll show you real quick before we go to the alleyway. And that will be the last of that. Um, these are my strawberries. And they're just doing wonderful. And then right here I have some spinach that I just sprinkled in there just to see what would happen. And yeah, there are my strawberries. Okay. We're in the alleyway and this is my parsley. And it's just beautiful. I am so proud of it. Oh, I think this is like the most beautiful plant that I've ever grown because it just thrives and thrives without me even doing anything. I barely even look at this plant and it's just growing. And here are my chives. They're doing great too. Alright. And over here we've got my watercress. Now, this is where I'm going to need some help because um, these are the plants that I'm growing in my alleyway, okay? And let me just show you. These are supposed to be spinach. And yes, they look very leggy, okay? And these are my arugula here, okay? And I think they're also a little leggy. 
don't know if you can tell, but yeah, they're a little leggy. And this right here that's coming up is supposed to be my oregano. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. Tried it last year, it didn't quite work. Um, these are my lettuce, which are not doing too bad. They're not too leggy, even though they're still a little leggy. Um, right there. Okay. So, what I am thinking is that maybe there isn't enough light in this alleyway to be growing. Um, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm talking and I'm not watching where I'm putting my camera. But anyways, um, it makes me think that there isn't enough light in this alleyway to be growing things, you know? Um, Swiss chard is doing wonderful. Okay, and then this is another place where there's spinach, okay? And then this right here is bok choy. Okay, definitely less leggy than what they were inside the house. So we'll see how this bok choy turns out. I didn't have a lot of seeds, so that's why it's only a few of them coming up. Um, this is my Chinese cabbage here. There's nothing planted on that side. Um, these are my radishes, and as you can tell, these are all so quite leggy for radishes anyways. So um, I'm thinking that maybe it isn't such a good idea, um, but I'm just going to let them go and see what happens, um, and hopefully we'll get something out of this. I mean, you know, the, the only thing is that like some of the lettuces, I guess when it rains or when you water, like they just go down because they're so leggy. So yeah, well, that's my update guys. Thanks for watching.